this is the third part of our Python uh, tutorial, a quick Python tutorial. Um, in the previous uh, tutorial, we discussed how to use the module. And uh, in this tutorial also, you will learn how to use the Python loop command, okay, using the for loop and the while loop. At the same time, we'll discuss how to use the list. What is a list? It's just like a container with the same data types. No? Uh, it, it is uh, much akin to arrays. So Python is very useful because um, today, you can use that in different applications in game in game you can write your game you can write your uh, web content you can create your uh, program using the pat pattern image recognition you can use it for artificial intelligence for deep learning okay i don't want to prolong any more my um, explanation in the next next video we'll discuss those things okay now how to start the loop okay we have to use the loop command okay how to use the loop command we have for loop okay this is the command x for x this is the variable for x in range we have here 0 10 so this is the range it will count from 0 to 9 okay or because we include the c included the 0 therefore it will negate by 1 so what will happen right here the colon is just like a separator okay if you press the enter key what will happen it will create a, uh, a tabbing uh, spacing so we print the value of x okay value of x is okay so when we run we run the program expect that we have the value from 0 to 9 if you count that from 0 of course that is 0 to 10 okay 0 1 you count from 1 from 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay if you change this to 11 okay we'll expect that we have from 0 to 10 can you get the point okay now what if we uh, we will what you call this we will convert the and we uh, create a condition to stop the loop in a specific number what will happen okay let us do that let's say we have here okay if okay open parenthesis x equals equals to 4 this is your math uh, assignment okay equals to 4 what will happen we need to put the color there because this is a decision uh, statement of python if x was to 4 when we can say okay break the purpose of break is to stop exactly at number four. So uh, number five, six, seven, and eight, nine, ten, it won't appear in the screen anymore. Okay, let us test the program. So there you have zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, now what if we need to continue the loop? Okay, so we have to, to type the reserved word what? Continue. Then we run the program. Okay, there you have it. Okay, so. The value of uh, 4, this is where we create a condition. If it is true, automatically, it will still continue by counting from 5 to 10. Now, let us use the while loop. In reverse counting, we can use the while loop. The same thing with the for loop. For example, we have here a variable. So, the value of y is 10. So, we need to use the while command. While y is greater than 0, well, that's pretty obvious. The statement is very intuitive. If y is greater than 0, what will happen? So we can say, okay, print. Okay. In reverse order, okay, let us put the comma as separator to the value of y. At the same time, we need to uh, deplete the value of y or negate the value by y of 1. We will decrement it, okay? So it will count from 1 to 10 and let us minus the value of 1 to 10. 10 minus 1, 9. 9 minus 1, 8. And so on and so forth. So when when we do that, let us put here y equals to y minus one. Okay. When we run the program, it will it will print it in reverse order. Can you get the point? Okay. Codes and uh, uh, try to uh, uh, study the syntax using the for uh, loop and using the while loop. Okay. Now we will discuss what is the purpose of the list. So if you're thinking about the list that is like a container with the same data types inside, uh, list is just like akin to your array, okay? So um, if you're using the Python list, uh, um, you can add the element inside the list. You can modify, you can delete it at the same time. Well, of course, list is mutable. Uh, mutable. If you're thinking about mutable, you can replicate it. You can change it, you modify it. If you are using a Java uh, programming, like for example, you can declare your, you know, arrays or list using, okay, this thing. Like for example, my list, okay, and then you have to check 
your elements inside. So this is where you put the element. Okay. But in Python, it's very easy. All you have to do is declare first the variable and then put the list. So this is now an empty list. But if you want to put the element inside, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 1, 3, 4, 50. So we have here four elements inside the list. So when we count the list, of course, that is uh, composed of four uh, numbers or elements. But we are talking about the offset. Okay, what is the offset? That is the address of the list. Okay, so the address of the list here is are the following. Zero, that's belong to one. Okay, one, that's belong to three. The offset of four is two. The offset of 50 is four. Zero, one, two, three, four. Can you get the point? Now, if you print the value of the list, okay, it's very simple. All you have to do is to put my list. Okay, let us uh, run the program. On the program, what will happen? So we have here one, three, four, fifty. What if we need only to uh, display a particular particular uh, list in this my list variable? Okay. Remember about the offset. Offset is the address of the list. Okay. Now, if we want to print that, print. Okay. And then print zero. Okay. We run the code. So we have here one. The list is mutable because you can modify it at the same time. You can add, delete and uh, remove the elements inside the list all right so if you're talking about mutable it is uh it, it can be expand uh, okay you can even append okay your data inside the list using the strings using the character and using different types of data okay now uh what if we uh ask the user to search for the list okay we'll first what you could just declare a variable inside it's uh, in, in our program so we have here list equals to one Okay, so how many lists we have? How many elements uh, do we have inside the list? We have four elements. The offset of zero, okay, that belongs to one. The offset of one belongs to 23, and so on and so forth. Okay, let us ask the user to enter the elements. Okay, let's say print, okay. Search the element inside the list, okay. Okay, let's, okay now. Now we will ask the user to enter. We have the variable here, asked, okay, asked, or we can say search data false to okay. INT. We are using we are using the, the INT as one of our data type because we're dealing to numbers. Okay. So we have to say we have to fuse okay input. Okay. Um search now. Okay. Now the variable is search data. Okay. To search the list and then we will use the if statement to search the data if search data okay if search data in my list this is a reserved word in python purpose of this is to search all the elements inside the list in our statement okay in the container of my list okay now we put here the colon and if we found the list, print found the element inside the list. And then we print also what you call this the value of that data. This is the element, okay, that you search. So comma, and we put there what? We can use the search or str search data conversion of, uh, you know, uh, numbers to string. Okay, let us check that. If Python will allow that, so this is your um Python um uh, you know uh, functions now string to data conversion okay else okay so this is a very uh you know, easy uh, um statement we print only what you call this print not found when we run the program okay let us check the code search now search the limits in the list search now. So we have only four elements here. If we put number one, okay, what will happen? Okay, search data is not defined. Why? Uh, let us check, okay, if this is correct or not. Search data. I'm sorry. If search data in my list. So this is our data here. Okay, search data is not defined. Okay, what's the error? Okay, let us check. Search data, okay. 
All right, wrong spelling. Search now, one. Okay, this is the element that you search. So found the element one. Let us run again. Let's say we need to, okay, enter the value of, okay, I'm sorry, enter the value of 20. So found element, found element. This is the, uh, this is the element that you search, 20. Okay, if we again enter a data not in the preview of the list, which will, let's say 100, it will display not found. Okay, let us display all the elements inside the list. Okay, we'll just change this thing. Okay, if the elements is found, we need only to infuse here the my list. When we run the program, let's say we enter one. So, this is the element that you search one, but these are the elements. Okay, let us change this. These are the elements inside the list. Okay, let us run it again. Let's say we enter 23. So, it will display all the list. These are the elements that you search. So, we have here number 23. Okay. Now, for example, we want to use the loop, okay? Uh, we will use the for loop to display all the elements inside the list. How to do that? It's very simple. Now, if we have this uh, statement at the top, we can infuse that loop right here. For example, okay, for d in rates, all right? So what is the name of the variable? For d in my list okay all right print okay d let us check that now let us search first the data inside the list if we put 100 of course not found okay if we put one it will uh, print or display found the element then it will display also all the list in that element because the element is inside the list and it will uh, count or it will display all the list using the for loop okay so when we run it okay when we enter it what will happen okay so this is now the answer for the it will print what one okay two twenty okay that's it so we have there the output okay so one twenty three twenty one let's add some spice to our program so this time around uh, we need to identify the offset of these uh, elements now so we'll be using the index as part of the functions or methods of the my, the, of the list uh, command okay so what will happen right here so we need to put here okay the code and we need to uh, find the offset of these elements if that elements is inside the the list then automatically the offset will be uh, unlist okay so what will happen we need to declare the variable okay mine is offset equals to okay bring down my list and call the function or the methods of list that is of course the index okay purpose of index is to um you know uh check uh all the elements inside the list okay so i will use here the input process the input variable which is what the data okay if search data list these are the limits that you search okay but instead of this no we can use this thing okay found element at this address okay so we need to put the address of the element or the offset so let's say we have here the option okay now when we run the program okay what will happen Search the element instead of the list. Okay, we, if we search this element, like for example, number 23. So 23 is in the offset number 1. Okay, if you put that, okay, what will happen? So found element at this address 1. Okay, we run it again. We put number 1. Okay, this is. So 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Therefore, the answer is 4. We found element at this address 0. Okay. I don't understand why zero, okay, because two ones right here. Okay, we need to change this. Okay, run. 
Okay, 3. So, the values of 3 is in number 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's it. In this third part of our tutorial, we discuss how to use the loop command, using the for loop command and using the while loop command. Okay, please uh, uh, rewind the video if you want to uh, learn uh, how to use the for loop in the while loop command. Uh, that was uh, a very simple type of explanation. So, um, we use the loop command to count the numbers. At the same time, we use the break command and, of course, the continue command, okay, uh, to... Uh, to manipulate our uh, loops no and uh, at the same time in reverse of the for loop command we uh, use the while loop command to uh, reverse the counting of the number okay so please review the syntax now um in this program okay let us go back here in this program no, if you run uh like for example if you search in the purview or not in the elements of this my list okay we have only zero a one with three twenty and three if you run that okay let's say we search for 100 okay so there is an error for that why what happened because you know we declared the offset not in the scope of the search list here so we need to transfer this offset okay inside the decision support okay so if you want, if you run the program, okay, if I say 200, now you can say that there is no error anymore because offset is part of this decision statement. It is now part of the scoop, okay? Uh, please don't forget to uh, uh, like, uh, share this channel, and subscribe. Thank you for watching.